you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Well, obviously, I was very proud of our guys tonight. Um, we had a lot we were playing for. Um, one of our managers just got diagnosed, Jared Lynn, uh, with, uh, with stage four cancer. And, and I thought our guys played for him. He's getting a little therapy here this week. And I thought our guys um, played with for heart, but they wanted to make sure they put a smile on his face. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> these are different kinds of circumstances that we're playing under. And uh, we're trying to be realistic, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with our guys. Uh, I thought that uh, on Saturday that uh, mentally, um, I thought we were show signs of, of being affected by all what's going on with the team. But uh, we challenged them week, all week that this is, these are the types of circumstances that are, are, are very similar to what you have to deal with in life. You're going to have challenges in life. And the true test of a man's character is how do you respond in adversity. Uh, it's easy to be happy, go lucky, and play at your best when everything's going well. How do you handle adversity? And I thought our guys showed true character. They showed, played with a lot of pride. They, they demonstrated their unconquered spirit uh, because this was a, 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 a big hill for us to climb. Uh, North Carolina beat this team last week by uh, on the last the last minute. And we knew it was going to be a challenge for us. But I thought our guys gave it everything that they had for 40 minutes. We didn't always play well, but I thought our attitudes were good. Our effort was good. We showed that we had a lot of pride and that we were playing for something bigger than just than us, playing for our brother and fighting a, a dreaded disease and also uh, representing who we are. And, and uh, I challenged them tonight that at the end of the game, I wanted them to be able to look themselves in the mirror and say that they, they gave it all they had for all those things that are important to us other than what's important to themselves. They had to play for something bigger than themselves. And, I was very proud that we rose to the occasion. Leonard, first and foremost, sorry to hear about Jared. Um, on Raekwon's game, just how he played, the fact that every time you guys needed a basket, needed somebody to come through, that he took that upon his shoulders, that's something you guys have needed during this losing streak. What does it mean for him to go out and do it? Well, it, it's obvious that, um, that he, he knew we needed uh, some extra tonight, and he provided that for us. It says a lot about his character that uh, he willed us to victory. He put us on his shoulder and he made play after play. He was focused and uh, he, uh, he, he, get, he gave us great leadership tonight. He, he demonstrated that unconquered spirit that uh, the Seminole Nation is all about. And so I'm very proud of him. Leonard, hey, uh, coach. oh, good. Go ahead. I was going to say, when did, when did you guys find out um, uh, about the illness and and how how did the guys how were the guys able to you know focus through through something like that? It, it was it was challenging, no doubt about that. Uh, we talked to Jared. Jared went home. I think it was maybe Monday. Uh, he came in the office and told me that uh, that that they felt that he, he had the challenge, so he went to Cincinnati, where he's from and uh, where they have an outstanding clinic there. And so they, they got right on top of it. And, uh, and uh, so it looks like he's gonna start his therapy, I believe on Thursday, I believe. So our prayers are with him, but, but uh, that just demonstrated that, you know, that we, we, we kind of got, I thought we showed some signs on Saturday in Chapel Hill of being overwhelmed a little bit by all the, the challenges that we are facing. And so. Um, this is a real good team. Uh, uh, Clemson, North Carolina beat them, I think, in the last minute at their place last week. So this is not a, a team you can take lightly. But we challenged them more mentally uh, about um, uh, I wanted them to, at the end of the game, be able to look themselves in the mirror and say that they gave it all they had. And, and we, we challenged them that that this is what life is all about and how they represented themselves and how they represented the team that they represent and the family atmosphere that we have uh, has said a lot about, you know, what, what type of leader of their families are they going to be down the road? We have to start growing and learning 
to overcome these types of challenges. And it's not easy. It's not easy when, you know, you seem like every week you got, you're missing somebody, but you can't use it as an excuse. And sometimes you can use it as a crutch, you know, to, to make it easy for you maybe not to be successful. So all those things, I, I thought I'd kind of display tonight, like pride, uh, uh, determination, uh, the, a, a, a lot of will. I thought we was connected. I thought we challenged each other. We held each other accountable uh, for each possession. There was some, there was some, some aggressive communication with each other uh, through the whole game. And I, I didn't think that they allowed that to, you know, to, uh, to take, they didn't take anything personal. And so I was very proud of them tonight and the effort, but I was exceptionally pleased with the support we got from the fans. I thought that uh, they were worth 10 or 15 points themselves because each time we need a little boost of energy, I thought that they gave it to us and the Seminole Nation uh, came to our rescue tonight. Coach, it's James Hill. Uh, when you look at your entire ball club, you have a lot of gentlemen who usually work hard, but now they're getting an opportunity to play. And through the course of a season, everybody pitches in. Can you just talk a little bit about that collective effort uh, to win basketball games for the Knowles? Well, there's no doubt that we needed the true sum of all our parts working in order for us to be successful. We always say we're 18 strong, and we might be 19 strong now. But uh, uh, that's what we're about. That's what our program has always been about. And the, the culture that we've been able to build, uh, guys playing for each other, uh, sharing playing time, sharing the ball. But we're a little younger and a little less experienced. And so this the atmosphere, the circumstances that we're playing under now is really new for all these guys. I mean, this is, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are first-year players for us. and They're adjusting to... The, the conference just into the mindset that you have to you have to be in in order to compete at this level night in and night out. And we don't have a, a bevy of veterans uh, that are here to to guide them, to, to lead them. So we kind of learn it on the fly. And so you know, we gotta we gotta enjoy this for a moment. Then we gotta get uh, we gotta get ready to go to to, to Durham, and, and there's another big mountain for us to climb. Any more questions for Coach? Yeah. Len, were you, were you guys determined to not let P.J. Hall take the last shot? Well, were, we were going to make somebody else. win the basketball game. And, and see, there's no doubt that he's a very good player, but they got good players everywhere. You know, all they had good shooters, good attack guys. And so we, we, we wanted to – obviously, we, no, we didn't, want, we didn't want him to beat us, but we also didn't want him away to get a wide open uncontested shot over in that corner too because he's, he's their best shooter. I mean, they're very capable of scoring in from four different spots. And the night I just thought that we we got we were we blew them out by the the uh, ACC blowout by one point. Everybody else said? All right, thank you very much, fellas. Thanks. My man. <laughs> Guys, we're going to bring in Ray Evans. Yeah, show a lot of character back in front. Guys, we'll take questions for Ray Evans, please. Hey, Ray, it's James Hill. Uh, victory like this, talk about it, how special it is. And it was like you, uh, you guys willed this victory at home. You pulled from your fans. Talk about your N one and just sealing the deal with the free throws. Yeah, um, I mean, as everyone known or knows, uh, we've had a lot of adversity the past couple of weeks. Um, you know, we kind of had to look in the mirror and make adjustments ourselves. You know, when we kind of went on that little uh, losing streak, it was because of energy. But I mean, this this time I made an effort to call upon myself to bring the energy, do whatever I need uh, for my team to get this win and. You know, thanks to the confidence of my teammates and the confidence of the coaching staff, uh, you know, they kept putting the ball in my hands. I was finding guys, uh, the younger guys were a lot confident. And it just felt like we were back to our old selves. Um, we went through a little slump, but I mean, this program is built on fighting. You know, we have a lot of coaches who fought for years. We have a lot of players who have that fighting mentality. So I'm just thankful we were able to pull this one off and continue to fight to the end. Ray, did, um, Coach Ham was telling us about um... – Jared's diagnosis. Um, does that kind of put things in perspective? Uh, how did how did the team kind of 
rally around that, obviously, that tough news? Um, it, it's very tough. Uh, you know, one of our family members to, to go through something like that is very hard. Uh, that's a, I think that's another reason why I played so hard. Um, you know, it kind of triggered emotions from my brother passing because of because of cancer. So I just wanted to, you know, dedicate this game to him. And um, I think everyone did as well and just played our heart out. I mean, at the end of the game, it's basketball. If we can play hard for basketball, you know, this young man's going to play. He's going to fight for his life. So, you know, the least we can do is dedicate this game for him and play hard every night for him. It seemed like early in the game you were determined to either get to the bucket or get to the free throw line. Mm -hmm. Was that because of the way they were defending you or was that just your mindset in this game? Uh it was a little bit of both. Um, you know, our strategy this this entire game plan was to go downhill. Um, you know, our offense was great. Um, they they do have a lot of good defenders, so you know we kind of had to make them work a little bit before we can attack those gaps. But I just felt uh, like we read the defense well. You know, a lot of the younger guys were getting downhill. Myself was getting downhill to make plays, and uh, you know, credit to our coaching staff and the time that they put in and everybody involved with it to have a game plan like that. Raekwon, it's James Hill. Uh, there's a lot of basketball left. Um, talk about the Seminoles way and continuing to grind and chip away, never give up. And you guys are playing for each other as a family, as you say. Yeah, I mean, we're going to continue to fight to the end. Um, you know, just because we went through a losing streak doesn't mean that our season's over. You know, we went through a winning streak as well. And, you know, that's the, that's the beautiful thing about basketball is one day you can you know, win four or five in a row, the next day you can go and lose five. So that's just that's just part of the game, and we accepted that. And, you know, we all got to come to new roles. I got to come to new roles. The younger guys have to come to new roles. But, I mean, there's still a lot of basketball left to play. We get to go down and play Duke. Um, that's going to be a big game, and we're all excited for that, and we're just going to carry this momentum and, you know, execute the next game plan. Anything else for Raekwon? Yeah. Hey, Ray, just uh, you, you, you talked about just the emotion of this season. I mean, it just seems like, you know, between injuries and, you know, losing the games you have and but just on an emotional level, too. I mean, you losing your brother now with Jared's diagnosis. How has this I mean, this season is obviously very different than probably anybody on this team has has ever experienced before. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's adversity for sure. I mean, this isn't the first time. Uh, you know, we as individuals or as a team have went through adversity. Um, I think that's that's just a part of life and it's continue, going to continue to happen. So, you know, we just make um, adjustments and we focus on the things that we can focus on. You know, things we can focus on are coming together, our chemistry, playing hard, playing for one another, you know, playing for the coaches, playing for this coaching staff. So throughout the adversity, I mean, we're going to continue to fight. Um, you know, a lot of the younger guys showed the fight today and, you know, like, um, like I said, like we got a lot of games left and we're going to continue to fight on our season's not done yet. Any more questions for Ray? Thanks, man. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.